What's going on, everybody? So I've been aware that this single has dropped uh, a little bit ago, but I was waiting for it to get a lyric video or a official, uh, you know, drop on YouTube or something like that, because you all know I like to put the links to the original videos and whatnot, or songs, and if it's just on Spotify or whatnot, eh, you know, I try to stick to just the YouTube drops. So I was waiting, I didn't listen to it yet, and there we go, we, we got it, we got a lyric video for this. It's Johnny Limitainen with All Dreams Are Born to Die, featuring Tony Kako from Sonata Arctica. I'm so excited for this project. I look to see what some of the other guest vocalists are gonna be on this album coming out. And it looks like Tony Kako does a couple different songs. And then it's also got Timo Codipelto, which he's one of my favorite power metal vocalists of all time from Stradivarius. He's gonna be on a couple songs. And it looks like on this song, Jens Johansson does some guest keyboard solos. I'm wondering if he's gonna be in it some more. Uh, he's one of my favorite, probably up there with uh, uh, Thomas Holopainen. Them two are probably my two favorite uh, keyboardists. So for Jens Johansson to be featured as well, it's just gonna be an all-star cast kind of album here. So I can't wait. And this is the first single and uh, you know, enough blabbering on about it. Let's just give it a listen, shall we? Rangers, go. <laughs>
Interesting. It's always nice to hear Tony's voice. It just always takes me back to some of those early albums uh, from Sonata Arctica. Just great stuff. Great stuff. Um, so, yeah, you know, this may be a rather unpopular opinion here. I'm not sure, but the song, it, it just maybe I, I had my expectations way too high. Maybe I got myself too hyped for this, but I just feel like it just fell a little below what I had anticipated. I really liked the verses. I liked the verses a lot. Those were really solid. Um, I really dug the melody of that, just the vibe of it and everything. It was great. Maybe it was the choruses that, that I just, you know, when all is said and done, this song, it, it just, didn't have really that standout quality that I guess I was expecting from such an all-star cast, you know, all these talented musicians. The, this song almost was more of a standard fare kind of sound, in my opinion. There wasn't, there wasn't really anything that set it apart from some other stuff. You know, it, if I didn't know who any of these folks were or anything like that, I would just think it's a kind of a standard uh, melodic rock, little bit of power metal, you know, vibe song that just didn't really rise above or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> the the musical like interlude or bridge section or whatnot was kind of interesting. The first half of it kind of had like a groovy vibe to it. That was kind of cool. You know, the bass really kind of kicking in, and then that keyboard solo. So that was kind of neat. It kind of shifted the, the tone or the, the feel of the song briefly before it kind of went back in. So that was kind of different. I enjoyed that. But again, just all, all things considered, I, I just, you know, it just didn't really stand out, you know, from the crowd. It just had, it had somewhat of a generic feel to it. Again, if you're taking away the fact that you know, Tony's vocals are instantly recognizable. And, you know, you got Jim Johansson, I guess, doing the guest keyboard solo, which was tight. If you take all that stuff out of the picture and just act like this is a band that we don't have any nostalgia for certain folks or anything like that, it just, it just didn't really do it, you know, for me, I guess, at the end of the day. So it's not a bad song, obviously, but it just... It's not a song that I, I would go listen to, or it's not a song that I'm going to remember, you know, whatsoever, honestly, you know, after this. Uh, I'm still curious for the album, of course, because we, we have all these folks, and it's always nice hearing folks that we have a fondness for or whatnot. But, you know, maybe this wasn't the best choice for the first single, or I don't know, or I'm just way off base here. But let me know what you all thought of this in the comments below. For me, this just didn't really rise above the standard fare. It just kind of kind of came and went. And, you know, I'm a little bummed out about that because I really was hoping that I was going to dig this big time. But not so much. Not so much. But with all that being said, I'm still looking forward to the album. You know, I'm really curious to see what they'll bring out. And sometimes first singles or whatnot aren't always the best indications. So, you know, it is what it is, but let me know what, what y'all thought in the comments down below. And that's what I got for y'all today. So I'll catch y'all later. Ranger, out.